There's no easy way to say this, you guys. Ulta Savers is failing in terms of communication and in terms of customer service as a whole. And so this is a very hard video to make, but it's just, it's a big problem right now and we need to address it. And I really hope that somebody from Ulta Savers watches this and maybe, you know, listens to, um, well, listens to all of you. I'm sure that a lot of you will be posting below your own experience and all of those experiences experiences are very valuable and I encourage you to do so and hopefully Alt Savers will watch and they'll um, maybe make some improvements in the future. Now, okay, first of all, what's happening? Um, so a lot of Alt Savers fans are reporting that their emails are going unanswered, okay? And these could be emails about a variety of things. A lot of people are asking about the, where's my order? You know, that's always a common email. Other people are asking other questions like, you know, they're asking about changing certain aspects of their order. They're asking about, um, you know, other product details, other questions they may have. And uh, just a lot of fans, a lot of Alt Savers fans are reporting that they're not getting answers. And some people will try different methods or, or they say that they've tried different methods. So they'll say that they tried emailing, that they tried contacting Alt Savers through Facebook and even tried calling and they haven't been able to get a response. So this is very wide spread. I encourage everybody watching to do their own research and look for these reports. You don't need to take my word for it. And I'm sure some people will post below, um, you know, their own experiences. Uh, in terms of this communication, I can report on my own personal experience. And I've been trying to email Alt Savers for several weeks now, and I haven't been getting a response. So I've, I've sent a few different emails, and I've just kind of gotten a canned answer, which Alt Savers, you know, has basically been um, saying that they're very backlogged, you know, since December, since kind of the release of the last Star Wars movie in December. And they're behind, they're very busy. Um, and they're working on everything, and they're also behind on emails. So that's kind of what the, uh, the the canned response email says in a nutshell. So I get that response, but I haven't gotten any response from an actual person, and it's been several weeks. So that's my own personal experience there. And again, please post your own below. But that's really the heart of everything, you guys. The, the company is currently failing at communicating with customers both on an individual level and kind of on more of a, a mass scale. Because if the company is having some type of widespread delays, for example, or they just have any type of message that all of their customers would appreciate hearing, that's when it's great to do some, some form of uh, mass communication. You know, so send an email to all your customers. And also, in addition to that, you, you make a Facebook post which with the same information and post something on your website. So, you know, whenever something's going on, it's very valuable if a company does all three of those things and, you know, more if they have it. You know, if, if the company has an Instagram, put it on Instagram, just put it wherever you can reach your customers or potential customers. Now, uh, several weeks ago, Alt Savers did um, send an email saying that they're having uh, parts parts delays with, with certain components for the lightsabers. And that's, you know, due to the, uh, well, the pandemic. And so they sent this email out several weeks ago, uh, but it was only in an email and it, it wasn't posted um, by Alt Savers on Facebook, although some of their fans kind of took a screenshot and have included it on the Facebook page that way. Uh, but that appears to be the main way that Alt Savers attempted to communicate kind of a larger issue with their customers. But there hasn't been an update since then that I'm aware of. And again, it was just limited to this one-time email to, um, I don't know if it was all the customers or some of the customers at the time, but it was a, a one-time email. So um, this kind of gets back to it, you guys. Uh, the company is just failing to provide updates to their customers. So um, a lot of the orders are taking longer than the estimate on the website. So, or at least that's what people are saying. Now on the website, Alt Saber says orders will typically ship within three to four weeks. That's their estimated lead time. A lot of um, Alt Savers fans are reporting that it takes, it's been taking their order more like seven to eight weeks for the order to ship. 
And occasionally somebody will um, say that their order shipped sooner than that, but a lot of people have been saying that their orders are taking more like seven to eight weeks to ship. And you can, you know, find people writing that even on the Alt Sabres webpage itself. So again, I always encourage you do your own research on this, but that's a lot of the reports that I've been seeing from Alt Sabres fans, um, especially on Facebook, but you know, other places too, like, like Reddit and um, other places on the internet. But just wanted to let you guys know about this and comment below with, um, you know, any information. If you've been trying to um, contact Alt Savers regarding your order or any other questions, feel free to write about that below or any other aspect of the company. And I hope Alt Savers watches this and maybe, um, you know, finds a way to improve the current system because the company... I mean, this is one of the largest companies in the world, the largest uh, custom saber companies, not companies as a whole. And it's a company that, you know, a lot of people will purchase a lightsaber from Alt Sabers as their first lightsaber. It will be their introduction into the custom saber hobby as a whole. Now, I know that my very first custom lightsaber was from Alt Sabers, so there's an example right there. And I've certainly reviewed their products a lot on this channel and plan to continue to do so and, um, you know, continue to talk about their website, their products, all of that good stuff. But I really do hope the company improves with their communication and their customer service. And um, hopefully uh, they'll watch this video and listen to all of you below uh, with your comments, with your own experiences. So again, love to hear from all of you and Old Savers, I hope you're watching.